Good evening. This is the last of the prayer meditations today. Daily meditations with Saint Augustine for Sunday, eleventh of April, twenty twenty-one, which happens to be Divine Mercy Sunday, and I'm going to consider after I finish this just doing the Divine Mercy. But I'll probably do it live in case people don't have the opportunity to hear it in a church or um, there'll be plenty international people doing it and um, they always do. But I love the Divine Mercy so I think I might do it live. I'm not too sure yet but I might in a little bit. Well God bless you. I'll just begin doing final one for today, April the 11th. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Call upon Holy Michael, the Archangel. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend us in this that day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thy prince of the heavenly host by the power of God thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. I'm not sure what prayers that I might do with this, if they're at hand or not. I'm just going to have a... I can't see the book that I'm looking for. So I probably... Won't, uh, I don't know if it's around or not. Never mind, I'll have a look in a moment. See what it says here. The heading is brief. Joy in the world. What is joy in the world, rejoicing in iniquity, rejoicing in infamy, rejoicing in what is dishonourable, Rejoicing in what is vile. These are all things that the world rejoices in. And none of them would exist if people did not want them to. There are some things that people do. Others that are done to them. They endure even if they do not like it. So, what is this world? And what is the joy of this world? What the world relishes is villainy that no one punishes. Therefore the prayer, O Lord my God, you are yourself, your own eternal joy, and all around you heaven rejoices in you eternally. Amen. Yes, when you when you live in the world and you are of the world, everything it, 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 that goes on is normal and acceptable and okay. I'm, I'm looking for one of the books that I use, but I might have to just put up, up with the folder if it's the no, it's the that's a that's a Bible reading. It doesn't look like I'm surrounded with all the books that I I usually use. Oh, I found one. Yeah. I, 
understand what I'm looking for. I think in view of what I just read, that um, I would like to pray a prayer for healing from this book. It's a deliverance prayers and because of, of, of what I've read, my understanding is that a lot of people are hurt in the world by what people rejoice in and some people rejoice in doing evil to others. So I think that this, that I'll read a couple of these prayers, you might find them very helpful. Prayer for healing, Lord Jesus, thou camest to heal our wounded and troubled hearts. I beg thee to heal the torments that cause anxiety in my heart and others. I beg thee in a particular way to heal all who are the cause of sin. I beg thee to come into my life and others and heal me and them of the psychological harms that struck us in our early years and from the injuries that they may have caused throughout our lives, Lord Jesus. Thou knowest our burdens, we lay them all on thy good shepherd's heart. I beseech thee by the merits of the great open wound in thy heart to heal the small wounds that are ours, heal the pain of our memories so that nothing has happened to us will cause us to remain in pain and anguish filled with anxiety. Heal, O Lord, all those wounds that have been the cause of all the evil that is rooted in our lives. We want to forgive all those who have offended us. Look to those inner sores that make us unable to forgive. Thou who camest to forgive the afflicted of heart, please heal our own hearts. Heal us, Lord Jesus those intimate wounds that cause us physical illness. I offer thee our hearts. Accept them, Lord. Purify and give us the sentiments of thy divine heart. Help us to be meek and humble. Heal us, O Lord, from the pain caused by the death of our loved ones which are oppressing us. Grant us to regain peace and joy in the knowledge that thou art the resurrection and the life. Make us an authentic witness to thy resurrection, thy victory over sin and death, thy living presence among us. Amen got a further spiritual warfare prayer. Heavenly Father, I love thee, I praise thee, and I worship thee. I thank thee for sending thy son Jesus, who won victory over sin and death for our salvation, my salvation. I thank thee for sending thy Holy Spirit, who strengthens me, guides me, and leads me into fullness of life. I thank thee for Mary, my heavenly mother, who intercedes with the holy angels and saints for me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, I place myself at the foot of thy cross and ask thee to cover me with thy precious blood, which pours forth from thy most sacred heart and thy most holy wounds. Purify me, O Lord, in the living water that flows from thy heart. 
I ask thee to surround me, Lord Jesus, with thy holy love. Heavenly Father, let thy healing grace flow through the maternal and paternal generations to purify my family line of Satan and sin. I come before thee, Father, and ask forgiveness for myself, my relatives, and my ancestors for any calling upon powers that set themselves up in opposition to thee or that do not offer true honour to Jesus Christ. In the most holy name of Jesus, I now reclaim any territory that was handed over to Satan and place it under the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Healing prayer, Holy Spirit, come down and reclaim my body, which con was consecrated to thee at my baptism, filling my entire dimensive quantity from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. Fill my faculties with thy presence, my senses, memory, imagination, cognitive power, common sense, power, intellect, will and appetites. Take up thy residence in all aspects of my body and soul, leaving no place unfilled, closing off any doors, caves or portals to the demons, driving them to the foot of the cross of Jesus Christ, never to return again. Heal me of the wounds, the wounds of psychological damage in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening and may God bless you and heal you and I'm sending you God's peace and abundance and be happy and joyful in the Lord always. God bless you. <laughs>